Why I hate the Andy Timmons Halo pedal. Andy Timmons is an extraordinarily great guitar player. He's one of my favorites. I think he's one of the best. This is not a shot against him in any way. I also have many Keeley pedals that I think are fantastic. But I wanted to show you this, guys. This is probably the most, uh, it's probably the worst design pedal I've ever had. And I've had hundreds of pedals. So you have your primary controls here, right? Time, level, rate, depth and then your feedback. But then each knob is also a secondary control. High pass filter, saturate, tone. Uh, and, and this access is secondary control. I'll talk about that in a minute, then the depth. But so here's why this is terrible. In order to access these secondary controls, you have to hold this down. So let's say I'm adjusting my level and I get it where I like, right? Sorry, my hand's in the way, but there's a reason why I wanted to do this close. Okay, my level is good. Well, now I want to adjust my saturation, okay? Now I go and adjust my saturation. That's eh, about right there. Okay, well, where, where was my level? Let's say I want to turn my level down. Where, where, is my, where is my level? Or vice versa, if I want to adjust my saturation, right? And I get my, because I'm holding this down. Now I've adjusted that, okay? So now I start, then I start adjusting the level, well, where the hell was the saturation? Now, there's a little light here that's a status light. Now, they're going to lead you to believe that when you make a change, that light lights up. That's only if a change is made to the preset, not if you just make a change. This is the most complex, horrible design pedal I have ever experienced, and I think the guys at Keeley did a terrible job with that. They need to redesign the pedal. I mean, you got all this real estate right here. Why not take these four controls and boom, 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 put them right there. I mean, this is just stupid.